room. Uh, okay. <laughs> nothing. Not at nothing. I have a question. You have a question. A question from the front. Yes. Do I look? <laughs> I got people for that. There you go. Yeah, I got, I got people. I got, thank you. I delegate. Where, deli you, where deli did you get your hat? Where did I get my hat? Uh, I got my hat from a vintage clothing company. And what's really cool about it is it can do this. And then go back, which is the, yeah. Yeah, the internet just saw me do that. It'll probably be a commercial for that company. If I say their name, send us a check. <laughs> That's all it takes. This could have been your ad. Guy with sideburns, very vintagey. Could have been a thing. No? Okay. Pick you? Yeah. What, was the, what was the last catastrophic failure? It's funny, you know, we have this sign. Can we get a light over here on this? It's been a hundred days since our last catastrophic piano failure. And I, to me, this, this is magic. We, you know, around here, lots of accidents happen. And what happened, I don't know if some people remember, uh, a performer by the name of Lee Thompson was here, and we very tragically dropped his piano all over the stage. And, and to celebrate 100 days without that, because we haven't had a piano in 100 days, we thought we'd bring him back. And, and he agreed to come back, which I think is fantastic. Uh, and we're hoping we don't screw anything up. You know, if we screw something up, we, you, you never want to drop a piano that belongs to someone else. And you certainly don't want to drop your own. I, I have a question. Okay, what was your question? Was that really 100 days ago? It was about 100 days ago. We, 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 it was like, no, it feels like it was for <laughs> circa 100 days ago. Did you some Somebody get me a tilde quick. <laughs> okay, are we going to nitpick on that? That's what we're going to nitpick on? We about killed a man's piano and he agreed to come back. I think this is what we should focus on, is the love and support this room provides. I'm going to tell you, not every room, not every room is this supportive. Um, hang on a second, hang on a second. Not everything is this supportive. And some rooms are theatrical like this. Yeah. But not every room's supportive. You know, I, I, did, a, I did a gig uh, Friday, and we, we did a, a circus event in front of about 5,000 teenagers. Not actually, not as bad as you think, but support was a little, was a little wobbly. Uh, we actually fielded uh, like seven performers. Uh, Frankie Stiletto was there. Uh, she rocked it in front of, she took a stage. You've never heard a room go so silent as when a sword swallower is doing her thing in front of 5,000 teenagers who go, what? And then they cheer, which is a great moment. Um, and, and, you know, our aerialists did not fall to their death, which was good. And, and, and we didn't drop too many things. The clowns only dropped a, about, I think we added up, it was 13 juggling clubs and six plungers hit the floor in the course of our act. Our act was two minutes long. So not a perfect, not a perfect run, but I think, I think a run with a lot of heart. Um, the, the, the thing about that was really funny was I came out of the dressing room and it was a big arena show. Not, you know, this, we're just hanging out like our friends in our living room. The arena show is like, you know, full on, big shoes, big nose, makeup, me in a dress. No, baggy pants. I could do, I could, but in this case, it was like vintagey, really cool clown stuff. Again, vintage, you could, we could, you could have been a sponsor, but no. So, um, so I walked out, and uh, we're in the hallway of this the convention center, and all these teenagers were like, hey, it's a clown, and that was kind of cool. And they kept walking, this one guy walks up to me, and he says, can you meet our friend? There's something a little off about it, right? Yeah, something a little off about, can you want to meet our friend? Because I looked over his shoulder, and there was a girl like this. I'm going to guess that she probably had a problem with clowns. I've encountered that, and I'm thinking... I shouldn't meet the friend. And rather than go, eh, thank you, and moving on, I don't know what got in my head, but I said, don't be that guy. You can be any guy you want. I just like, look, you can be any guy you want in this whole world. You can, it doesn't matter. Just don't be that guy, because that guy's a dick. And I kept walking. <laughs> Leaving a kid with his jaw hanging open. <laughs> so I keep going, and I, you know, okay, we laugh about it, and we're having fun with it. And I walked into the audience, you know, and it's like, okay, time to turn from the lobby into the crowd. Walked into the crowd. 5,000 people suddenly wanting to give you a high five and take a selfie with you. It felt like being a rock star. It's only a high five selfie. How are you? Thank you. And going through the whole thing. And I get down to the front row where I'm going to then get up on a stage and, and do the show. And I get up there and there's this group of kids, two of them on either side, going, yeah, high five and selfie. And then one kid in the middle like this. And they're like, meet my friend. And I said, I don't think your friend wants to meet me. And this is like my second or third one of these of the day. And I'm like, um, 
Are you, you know, are you afraid of clowns? Yeah, I'm afraid of clowns. Are you afraid of me? God's like, no. <laughs> that does a lot for your masculinity right there. <laughs> but, but I realized it was working for me. So there's a ghost. So I'm like, so, so I have a theory. Come here. Come, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's my stand-in actor. I said, okay, look. I don't think you met a clown that scared you. I think you met some jackass in grease paint. <laughs> and I am sorry on behalf of all clowns, and I would like to shake your hand. And we shook hands. That was a big day. Yeah. And I said, do you want to take a selfie with me? And he was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he was having a really big day. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Met a clown, had his world turned upside down, and some random adult swore at him. So, yeah. Ooh, we'll be beeping a lot of this story. Okay. So, long, long story short, um, we, we had all of this massive theatrical circus insanity, but the part that really mattered for me was a very human moment where I just kind of got very real and said, I'm sorry some people suck. <laughs> you know, it's a dumb thing to say, but it's true. Um, what I love is I'm now about to say welcome to you all, and we get to spend a night full of with a room full of people who do not suck, and they are the best people I know. We call them the folks who hang out at the open stage. Welcome. Woo!